Hey everyone, Duke here, and today we're talking about some tips in order to complete the legendary campaign and defeat the final boss of Lightfall, Kallus. This fight represents a significant spike in difficulty, in my opinion, from the rest of the campaign, but with the right strategy is absolutely doable. To start, I tried a few different loadouts, but felt that Weather Horde for the easy damage over time damage throughout the fight made things significantly easier. I also ran an SMG and machine gun, as the ability to add clear is very useful, especially while on the move. Machine guns are also just great in general to break the weak points of the Tormentors, and with their recent reserve buffs and 10% damage buff, they just feel extremely good to use as a whole pretty much throughout the game. I specifically used a Void SMG and Machine Gun due to having the Volatile Flow mod already unlocked in the artifact, as well as there being a number of Void Shields throughout this fight. I also ran a Void subclass to make use of Devour, as well as the Invisible Finisher fragment, and chose not to grab Strand. Know that there are a number of enemies that can boop you off the map in this encounter, but these adds will spawn in the middle of the room, and then immediately run to the four platforms on the outside of the map. Due to this, I tried to stay mostly in the middle of the room, moving from cover to cover from protection, and using my machine gun to kill any adds that were trying to shoot me from the sides, but honestly they pretty much didn't really focus me much from where they were on the sides, and I was able to use the middle as pretty solid cover. You'll want to use Wither Horde to slowly tick Kallus' HP down, taking care of the Scions that stay near the middle. These Scions are actually pretty useful to have around, as they give a weak enemy to either proc Devour on, or get low enough to then finish her and get invisibility, at least on Void. Also look out for the Pastas that Kallus shoots at you, just like in the Caretaker fight, along with a Missile Barrage he can shoot when staying in one place for too long. Basically, just bouncing back and forth between at least two covers, or just kind of going around the room between the covers, as things get a bit hot in your current cover, is going to be your strategy here. After getting Kallus' health down to two-thirds HP, your first Tormentor will spawn. You will want to focus it down ASAP by breaking the two arms with your machine gun, and then using everything you have on it. I would recommend saving Super to take this first one down quicker, and basically just keep spraying your heavy at it. Do note that you will want to keep moving around the room, so that it doesn't do its slam attack on you, as this can both boop you off the map and suppress you. Basically, just if it starts getting closer to you, don't be afraid to move. Also note that both of these Tormentors are finisherable, which will help take the last bit of HP that they have down much faster, as well as give another chance at invisibility. From here, repeat the same process as earlier while taking Kallus' health down. At 1 third HP, another Tormentor will spawn. Again, you'll want to focus it down as quick as you can. If you want a bit of extra advantage, you could wait to get your super again before pushing Kallus to that final 1 third HP, and going to this point in the fight, but that's your call. Take down this Tormentor and then continue the same process until Kallus has been defeated. Just kidding, there's a part two. Part two basically turns Kallus into a bather and he will chase you around the room with his axes. These hit very, very hard, so you'll want to stay away from getting hit at pretty much all costs. At 100 resilience at least, you can tank one swing without dying, but you will get very low HP, and if you for some reason are not full HP, or at least very close to full HP, he will probably one-shot you. Wither Horde shines here extremely hard once again, by being able to quickly turn and tag him while running around. The positive here is there's not much else going on during part 2 of this fight, and he has quite a bit less HP. There will be a few Scions spawning in, but again, you can use them for Devour, you can use them for Invisibility, to your advantage. He will get a shield at both 2 thirds HP and 1 third HP, but you can pretty much just break these with Wither Horde damage and basically ignore they exist at all, and they don't really add anything to the fight other than just giving him more health. Using the pillars that we used as cover in part 1 is also extremely useful here, as he will kind of get stuck between them as he chases you and give you more time to avoid the swings and get damage in. Once you've taken Kallus' health down to zero here, congratulations, you've actually completed the fight and the campaign on Legend. I hope this video helped you take down this challenging final boss, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.